Greetings from Tokyo, my dear, dear friends. This is Daisuke, and I hope, I really, really hope that this video message finds you well and that you are taking very good care of yourselves during this time. Now, I'd like to make a brief announcement with respect to the Film Club live stream schedule regarding the live streams that have been taking place on this channel over the course of uh, about a year or so, uh, give or take, maybe a little bit less. And the last film that we discussed was Afterlife, which was a very fun discussion for me. I really enjoyed listening to what it was you had to say about the film and hear all the various interpretations about the approach and the, the narrative thrust and the the style, etc. So thank you very much for uh, that opportunity. It was a very big eye-opener for me and as always I always learn a lot from your insights. And the next film that is scheduled for discussion is going to be the Alfred Hitchcock film from 1958 which is called Vertigo and this is going to be for Saturday March 21st at 11 p.m. Tokyo time. So again, Saturday, March 21st at 11 p.m. Tokyo time. The film is Vertigo. And here is the Blu-ray box, which is what I have. I also have this on DVD. And uh, here is the, the Vertigo portion of the booklet, as you can see here. I'll try to get the glare uh, as much out of there as possible. There we go. So this is Vertigo by Alfred Hitchcock, and this will be the topic of discussion this coming Saturday. So it will be very nice to uh, see you if you have the, the opportunity. If not, that's okay, of course, because I know that you are all very busy. But if you have a free moment, it would be nice to see you and talk to you in real time with respect to this very interesting work. Now, this is a very highly regarded film in a lot of critical circles, film critic circles. This is often regarded as being one of the greatest films ever made. And uh, there are many fans of this film, and there are many fans of Hitchcock. So this is a, a kind of, uh, it's a kind of uh, very great film in many respects, and I, I truly believe that. And so from my point of view, this discussion uh, that is going to take place uh, this coming Saturday is one that fills me with a little bit of trepidation. And it does so because of the enormous weight that I think this film brings with it, especially given its critical appraisal and reputation that has really uh, picked up steam, I would say, uh, over the last, say, uh, 20 to 30 years. And so uh, this is one of those uh, top-line masterpieces. I mean, this is one of the greats. And so... It feels very much like a gargantuan task, a Herculean task, to be able in some way to talk about this film in a live stream. And I admit I won't be able to address this film in the way that it deserves. You know, I don't have the particular... Uh, intellectual acumen to be able to fully uh, give this film the kind of uh, discussion and attention that I think it deserves. So that is uh, one of the disadvantages that I have. But I do approach this film, as I do with many others of course, but I do approach this film in the sense that I have seen it so many times, uh, more times than I can even begin to try to count, really. I have seen it in the theater. I saw it in the theater when it was originally restored many, many years ago. And I still recall with great fondness 
the feeling I got when I was in that theater. Uh, it was in New York City, and I saw it, and I was just in awe of what I was seeing before me. And I was still quite young, relatively speaking, but those feelings that I had and uh, experiencing this film have never left me uh, in all the, the years that I have since been experiencing this film. And so with that kind of approach, my friends, that is what I will try to, that is the kind of approach that I will try to adopt when I talk about this film during the live stream. In other words, I'll try to talk about it in terms of how it has affected me, why I feel it has affected me in this way, and what are some uh, interesting aspects about the film that I find particularly alluring or captivating or mysterious or or hypnotic or quite uh, perplexing and uh, quite difficult to understand because there are quite there are a number of moments in this film quite a few actually that I still grapple with with uh, some uh, a great deal of uh, frustration uh, felt on my part, but I think that is uh, a good thing. I've mentioned this before, but it's always good uh, to feel frustrated with a film. Uh, sometimes films uh, shouldn't necessarily yield their answers with great ease, but rather they should uh, they should uh, resist uh, that, and so it, it's incumbent upon the viewer to try to. Uh, grapple with the film, to wrestle with it, and to challenge oneself with the film. And I think this film, Vertigo, presents that kind of scenario in many respects. And so I will be approaching the live stream from that viewpoint. And so it won't be as a film critic necessarily, and it won't be as an academic who has studied this film with great care and affection and detail, but it will be as a fan of this film and a gr really big fan of this film. I, I really adore this film. I, I consider it one of my favorite films ever. And so uh, I, I have a, a great affection for this film. And I, even, I know its flaws, I know its imperfections, but I think that part of my appreciation for this film is the fact that it does have imperfections and flaws, and I think those flaws figure in very nicely, in fact, to a, a certain degree of uh, interpretation of this film, which I think works. Hopefully I'll try to get into some of that during the live stream this coming Saturday. So uh, this is the film Vertigo, my friends. And so won't you join us? Uh, please feel free to join us during the live stream. Once again, it is scheduled for Saturday, March 21st at 11 p.m. Tokyo time. The film we will be discussing is Vertigo. So this is Tokyo time, so uh, please check with your own local time. You know, there's gonna be a time difference perhaps if you're outside of Japan. So please check to make sure that uh, the time works for you. And if not, then don't worry my friends because the live stream will be uploaded as a video to this channel as soon as it is done. So, uh, if you cannot make it, then no worries at all, my friends. I know that you are all busy, and so I don't want to intrude upon your time and your schedule uh, unnecessarily. So, uh, But if you are able to make it, my friends, then of course it would be my pleasure to see you there and then. So, with that, my friends, hopefully I will see you this coming Saturday. And in the meantime... Please be happy and healthy and well. Please take very good care of yourselves and your family and friends. And once you've taken care of that, my friends, please keep on watching a lot of great, great movies. So take care, be well, and cheers. Mm -hmm.